Hey folks, it is Ted from Ted Plays, the Evil DM Plays, whatever you want to call me. We're back with another episode of WCW 1997, booking Nitro for WCW in the 90s. Picking up where we last left off, Sold Out is now over. We're doing the Nitro after Sold Out. We're doing the what happened afterwards, but we're going to load our game and see what we have booked today. So let's get on to our booked event of the night. Let's start the show. Confirm. We see the show open up. Hogan is arriving in style with Eric Bischoff and a few NWO folks, all is happy and giddy, and then suddenly they are attacked by the giant, with the giant standing over the two looking at the camera. I want Hogan tonight! Rematch one on one. The NWO barred from ringside. 100% on that. Popularity going up. Giant is hot right now, so let's see what happens with that later on. We get a match between Chris Jericho and Eddie Guerrero. Uh, it's a very good match. Uh, two quality star match going on here. Uh, so that's pretty good for the two of them. 62%, not bad. Next match we get is Chris Benoit versus Dean Malenko. Yeah, they tried going for an epic technical technician type battle. I guess they really didn't do that well due to the backstage morale, which I'm not sure how to fix because there's so many negative factors going on right now. It's just really amazing. <clears throat> Next, we see the outsiders are strutting around backstage. Yeah, they, they get attacked by the horsemen, Anderson and McMichael, who are eyeing tag team gold. McMichael kicks Hall in the gut while on the ground. And he says, see you in the ring later, Chico. And I actually forgot to put a match in, so that really messes things up. Oh, well. That's what happens when you book things and you forget to write things on your notepad. So this was supposed to be a match later tonight, which I will actually just add to uh, the next Nitro going forward. Because I completely forgot it and I apologize. But they said the, book was ma the match was booked. I guess I didn't book it. It didn't have the little reminder thing for the book match but anyway we'll book it for next week i apologize we get a video package of the blue blood celebrating i'm sorry we get a next kevin sullivan versus alex wright kevin sullivan wins an easy match one star fans really weren't into it they really didn't care whatever the blue bloods this is the one i went to see as uh, a package with them celebrating as only the blue bloods can in upper qual quality quality uh upper class style a night on the town just showing how well the rich people can do things after a epic win <clears throat> next thing we get lex luger versus billy kidman and kind of a squash match just to show off the power of luger luger wins real easily one quality star Meh. next we get hollywood hogan in the back struggling pretending he can't walk the medical staff is looking over him wondering what's going on and uh you know he, he said he says that he can't make the match tonight to james j dylan who's standing there and he looks and he turns around walks outside with the medical professional hogan waits a moment and then stands up and he starts playing air guitar celebrating with eric bischoff and it's there eric bischoff stands up straight and he's going, <clears throat> you know, kind of telling Hogan to look over his shoulder, which we see James J. Dillon standing there with his arms crossed, saying, uh, arms on his hips saying, excuse me, oh, I guess you can wrestle tonight then, Hollywood. So we will see Hollywood Hogan versus the Giant for the main event. The title is on the line tonight. NWO is barred from ringside. As he walks out of the room, we could see Hogan frustrated, but the camera slowly pans to what we see in the background as the door is closing. Hacksaw Jim Duggan speaking to Randy Savage, who we haven't seen in a while. And you see the two of them are chatting, and they shake hands. And you hear Tony Schiavone saying, what is Hacksaw up to? Bobby Brain's like, he's probably just trying to, you know, act stupid in front of the macho man. Or it's something classic that Bobby would say like that. Next, we get a uh, match between Diamond Dallas Page and Jerry Sags. Diamond Dallas Page takes the win in this match. 62%. Meh. Finally, we get the main ev event. Hogan limping to the ring, taking his time, trying to play and, you know, play off the injury to his leg, even though we all saw he's perfectly fine. Starts making his way to the ring alone with the belt on his shoulder, limping his way. Suddenly... 
the um, giant comes out of nowhere and just attacks him and bashes him into the ring. Wants to get this match on. He is tired of Hogan's shenanigans. Next, we get <clears throat> the match and Hogan and Hollywood go, uh, Hogan and the giant go back and forth for a while, back and forth and keep going. And finally, uh, Sting comes out of nowhere and hits Hogan and Hogan takes an obvious dive. It's not really a real hit. It was like a lazy little, lazy kind of, uh, uh, kind of a hit. You can see it's like fake. <laughs> and Hogan goes down and the giant just starts attacking him and the referee sees this and he just, you hear the bell, ding, 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 ding. Finally, the match was a dud because the people were pissed off because there's no contest match. You can hear booing and blah. Finally, so the NWO is pouring into the ring and they're attacking uh, the giant and Hogan gets up and starts attacking him as well. And then we finally see the lights go out and it's quiet for a few minutes. You hear a couple thuds. The lights come back on. All the NWO is laying on the ground. You see Sting standing in the ring, a bat pointed directly at Hogan's face. Hogan looks intimidated for a minute and boom, he clocks him in the head and goes down. The crowd goes absolutely crazy. Sting, yes, finally. The giant comes over, limping, holding his head, extends a hand out to the Sting. Sting looks at him, boom, clocks him in the head. Down goes the giant. Sting looks around at all the parties on the ground, places a bat in between Hogan and the giant looks around and leaves as everybody's confused and Tony Schiavone is like whose side is Sting on? What is Sting doing? And the group fades out as we're wondering why Sting starts walking to the back. And that's going to end the show. We get a rating of 88 for this week. We gained a little popularity and uh, yeah, in North America and Europe, overall we did pretty well for the show. So we'll just take a look with other things. Uh, let's see what Raw got for January 28th. They didn't do as well as we did. We got Salvio Vega versus Psycho Sid. Hunter Hearst Helmsley and Goldust, which I remember those angles pretty well. <laughs> British Bulldog and Jake Roberts angle. Okay. Rocky Maya Vera versus Billy Gunn. Rocky wins. Shawn Michaels and Psycho Sid. Jake Roberts versus Jerry Lawler. The Undertaker versus Brian Pillman. That would probably be a decent match, though. I don't know. But none of the matches make sense because... It's the AI booking. But that's all we have for today. I will see you next time for the next Nitro. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Good night, everybody.